good morning guys how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from extreme trader this is salah speaking uh if you remember my friends in the past uh, we have talking about uh, the 20 pips a day strategy you can find it here two months ago on my channel 20 pips a day strategy where i show you how we can use the daily charts and the four hour charts to find our best setups using hit and run rules with slightly few difference and then the next video sorry i showed you how we can make a live trading using the same system and we have earned a total of 70 pips of profit now what i want to do in this uh, video is i want to show you how we can do this uh, trading system but what i want to advise you is enter only one trade per day and that's it you don't need to keep trading the whole day because you are dealing with the daily chart and the four hours chart it might be a little bit hard to find so many setups per day so the best thing you can do wake up in the morning find the setups and just let the trade running even for the whole day as long as you can secure a 20 pips now you need to control your emotions as well because if you fail the trade then make your loss also as 20 pips so you will not blow your account easily you need to make sure if you are using this system limit your trades to just five trades per week and make sure you are selecting them wisely because you don't want to enter two trades using using the system i personally always uh, recommend avoid over uh, recommend to avoid over trading so allow me to show you now the trade of the day that i have spotted on the usd cad now what are, what i have seen here if you want to apply simple hit and run rules we have here a resistance that has been breaking out and the, we, can, we can see that this is the breakout candle so if we look at the left if we want to find the best or the strongest support level near to this resistance level the best level i can select is actually this one here this is showing a really strong support and we can see that this support it actually should keep the position as a support now the question why did I enter here now I entered here because if you remember my rules about how we should select or draw our support line we should draw our support line or resist resistance line in a way touching all of the wicks at the very same support so for example I am now focusing my my vision here if I want to draw my support line in a way to have very accurate entry it will be a way that it should the line should be touching all of the wicks that are included in this reversal so if we count how many wicks we have here we have one two three four and five so we have four uh, five wicks included in this reversal right here so if I want to have my best shot I will draw my support line in a way touching all of the wicks like that exactly and that is my entry point and you can see I have entered exactly on this level and because I'm using IC market the spread even on this standard account this is by the way not a true ECN account this is my standard account and you can see it's ha it, ha it's ha it has really very low spreads and I'm enjoying it and since I'm not doing scalping here, I'm using this account. I prefer to use my true ECN account to do the scalping. But if I'm going to enter a, a whole day trade, I prefer using the standard. Now, let me tell you something about the exit point. Now, since I have entered here, where should I exit my trade? Of course, I need to exit my trade at the next nearest support or resistance. I think everybody knows that by now now the question here i am on the four hour chart where is my nearest support or resistance hmm. some might tell here because this is a support and this is your nearest support so you have to exit your trade right here right actually you're wrong maybe someone will tell me no 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 it's here because this is the, near the nearest resistance and you have to wait the trade to go all the way up uh, the answer is also no the nearest resistance is actually this guy here this little wick here 
Now, why this week here is considered as a resistance? Now, remember we are on the four hour chart. So if you drag this line here on the top of this week here, all right? So let's look at the left, what do we see? We see that this level was also a very strong resistance as well. Not only that, but it was also a support. Meaning this level is strong. That's why the market has actually went down here and reversed, went up here, and right on the same level here, on the same line of the top of these wicks here, on this resistance, the market has actually reversed. Now because of that, because we have here a strong resistance, I'm expecting that the market will actually go down, but not now. It has to actually bounce on this support. So you see the support I have entered my trade on. The market I expected to actually bounce again, making attempt number two, another attempt on the resistance. And once it finds the rejection to break out, it will actually go more down. So what I'm trying to trade right now is actually the pullback. So this is the movement like that. The trend is going like this, going up, and then going to go more down. It's going to bounce on this resistor, uh, support. Then it might go up here. Then it might actually make another attempt and to go more down. That is what I'm expecting for the market to react to this level. So anyway, I have entered my trade right here. And as I told you, I will set my take profit on this level here so I'm expecting about 18 pips of profit let's just make it 20 yeah almost 20 pips of profit now of course I might not keep it to touch uh, the very top of my uh, of the of the week here because actually I'm not a greedy person if I set my target to 20 pips I can accept 18 or 17 I'm fine with that as long as I am in profit, I'm in good profit. I don't want to risk losing the 50, uh, the 18 or 17 pips just in sake to earn two, two more pips. I can easily make two more, two more pips from another trade. So I don't, I don't really need to risk it, guys. You know what I mean? So again, uh, let me just put this one here a little bit more down. So I will come back to you after this trade finish, and this will be the trade of the day. And I forgot to mention one thing. Um, there are some followers who are asking me, why don't you just place a pending order on this level and just wait for the candles to hit this level and active your trade? Now, the answer is I really, really hate using pending orders, stop loss, take profits, whatever. I'm just doing this for this video. This take profit, I usually don't even use it. I'm just applying it just uh, to show you where I'm going to enter my, uh, to exit my trade. Usually what I'm doing is just cancel. Now there is a reason. I want to observe the market myself. I want to keep my eyes on the trade. I really hate let the auto trading system do the trades for me based on my orders. I just can't feel comfortable leaving my house even if there is a stop loss, take profit, pending order. It's like you are not being realistic because the, the market, you need to keep your eyes on the candles movement. You need to keep your eyes on the momentum. And maybe there is some unexpected news. Anything can happen in the market. If you just put some pending orders and you just leave them, then I can assure you that this is not going to work on the long term. So what I like to do is uh, keep my eyes on the trade. And right now I will keep my eyes on this trade. Of course, I can. if I go out, I can uh, view it from my mobile. Uh, I can view it from any other way, any a laptop or something. But the important thing is, don't ever rely on pending orders or stop losses or take profits. You have to check the trade yourself, pay attention to it yourself, and always take care of the trade. So anyway, uh, now I will close that. Uh, I will stop the video, and I will come back to you once this trade finish. And I, let's see what will gonna happen with it.
Yeah, well, of course, sorry. You have noticed maybe that I have uh, closed the USD CAD and I opened another trade on the Euro GPY and I did not talk. That's because I had some uh, issue here and I was not able to talk at all. Sorry, guys. But I wanted to tell you something that I have opened these trades, the USD CAD. Uh, let me show you what happened to the USD CAD. I closed it before that I have should be because as I told you, what I told you has happened. The USD CAD, the reversal, has indeed happened all the way to the resistance level. So if I have stick to my take profit, as I told you, I would have already earned the 20 pips. But something happened actually because I was checking the USD CAD and by checking the the 15 minute time frame, I noticed this uh, strong support here. And this bearish momentum was really so strong and I thought maybe the, the pair can't really go up all the way to this resistance so better just close it at this previous support and get out with a decent amount of profit I think about 8 pips if I'm not mistaken yeah 8 pips of profit and since I cannot end the video with this uh, profit and this is a 20 pips a day pr uh, uh, video I wanted to show you also this video uh, sorry, this trade for the Euro GPY. Why did I enter this trade? Because this is simple hit and run, but only on four hour chart. Because what we see here is a support has been broken out by this bearish candle. And then we have immediately the resistance number one, the attempt number one, which happened right after the breakout. So this support has now become the resistance. And what I did was entering attempt number two. And I exit my trade here. Let me show you. Now remember I'm on the four hour time frame. Switching back to the 15 minute time frame. Now why did I close my trade here? Because here we have a previous resistance. And what I saw here was that the candle has already went down here on this level and then bounced back up. And then when I saw the candle coming down again, I thought maybe it's now making support number two better now close your trade uh, with the profit but thankfully my strategy is so strong and you can see that uh, if i have uh, followed my own rules i would have ended in more profit but it's okay because i feel safe uh, now today the market actually guys is not safe to trade because i believe t today we have so many holidays uh, let me check hold on yeah so if i go to forex factory and you can go to the calendar you can see that today Wednesday yeah today Wednesday we have the Japanese the, the Asian uh, banks on holiday uh, CHF and Euro France German Italian uh, they are on, ho on holiday and since I was trading the uh, Euro GPY I thought better close the trade right now but please no notice that this dash here was my take profit level if I left the trade running, it would have already hit my take profit, which mean I already ended this trade with about five pips of profit. I could have ended it with nine pips of profit. That's almost 20. I want to show you that also today I have entered this trade and I have earned uh, 60 pips on the NZD CAD. Now, maybe you have noticed that this is a very small account. And that is what I do. That is what actually I think separate me from other traders. I don't like to promote that Forex is a gold mine. Forex can make you a millionaire in one day and night. What I do is just invest small amount. Believe me guys, what I did today was just investing $50. Can you believe that? Because I'm using IC markets. They have no, lim no uh, minimum amount to deposit. So, I just deposit $50 and that 50 I have made it $164 in one day that is what I like to do that is how I enjoy trading and I feel safe so even if I lost my loss is very limited if I made profit my profit is actually big I can double my money three to four to five times uh, with no problems because I'm just trading small accounts so I don't like to trade thousands of dollars and I think you have noticed that so guys, uh, I believe this should be it for today. 
I just uh, would uh, just wanted to show you the ideas, but please, uh, please pay attention to what I have done today. Just try to apply hit and run on the four hour time frame and trust me guys, it will be good. And please try always to accept the small or accept the limited trades. Don't keep trading the whole day. If you keep trading the if you keep trading the whole day, you will stop at the point where you actually lose your money, because you will just keep trading and trading and trading and it will never stop until one time you lose your account or sorry you lose your trade and wipe your account. So learn to live with us with the uh, limited profit. For example, I have reached this account in one day to one sixty four dollars from fifty dollars to one sixty four. Today I will stop. And tomorrow I will continue trading. So anyway, I wish guys, uh, I wish you guys a very successful uh, trading days. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.